Hey guys, Sovereign Source here, welcome to a new video. Today, as always, we have a new coin and we're going to have a little chat about the different Britannia years. So, I've picked up this little uh, piece here and this is a 2011 one ounce gold Britannia. It's in the mint sealed packaging and I'm going to tear it out basically. So, while you're just having a little glance at uh, those coins in front of you, you can see a few different years of the various Britannias. So the first gold Britannias were brought out in eight, uh, 1987, not 1887, in 1987. And they are... Uh, where's my capsule? There it is. And they were in... 22 carats so a little bit like your Krugerrand and your gold sovereign There we go. Let's get that in there a little bit like your Krugerrand and your gold sovereigns There were 22 carats. So Here he is the capsule does have some scratches on it. Don't worry. The coin is obviously nice and clean and Yeah, we've got old Liz on the back. So that is the fourth portrait of Liz You'll see it's different to where's a recent one the most recent portrait again this the capsules are scratched up but that's what capsules are for right so looks like this has got a bit of a mustache going on there but uh, yeah it's not on the coin itself so yeah we've basically gone through various years of Britannias Eight, uh, 1987 was the first and they were in 22 carat now this one is 22 carat there was one more year, 2012, which was 22 carat. And then 2013, which I don't have, was a little bit different because that's when they brought out the four nines fine gold Britannias. Um, and the 2013 is a bit of an anomaly actually. So I did see one come up on the second hand market, um, not because it has a different design, but because the coin itself is thinner. So it's actually got a larger diameter than the rest of the Britannias. And yeah, I saw it come up on the second hand market. I can't remember what price it was. It must have been low enough for me to uh, at least have a look, but I just rather would keep uniform sizes to be honest. Uh, yeah, it might get to the point where I'm thinking, hang on, I've got all the dates apart from 2013. And maybe I do want to pick one up in the future, but for now, not too worried. So. When you're browsing around on the dealer's websites, you'll see some years have uh, different designs. Like for example, the 2016 has that kind of uh, mottled background, like a cheap carpet. See on the other side there as well. It's kind of, you know, like a bit of a bubbly uh, looking thing. And then we move on to 2017, where it looks a bit like spokes, you know, if you're looking from a distance here. Can see that kind of uh, radial pattern there in the background and on the back again it's still the same that mottled kind of look and then we have a few odd years like the oriental borders so this one here you look at the outer edge of the coin obviously and that is where the, the name comes from uh, and then most of you will be familiar with the more recent wave pattern so 2021 and 2022 we've got these new security features so Britannia as a coin has been changing quite a lot but not necessarily consistently uh, pre sort of 2011 there were a few different designs so this one obviously is different 2010 was different again and so on so quite interesting looking for those now you'll see here a couple of the 2022 gold sovereigns which they are also 22 karat gold just pop these up side by side for you and you can see that yeah it's not quite as yellowy gold is it this uh, this Britannia let's just put a new one up as well here we go so we've got a little bit more of a yellowy color in the four nines fine uh, but this one it does look a lot less coppery than these new sovereigns so we'll not talk much about the color of those any longer but as you can see, there is a couple side by side. So 10 years apart in terms of the you know, mintage uh, year uh, and just a different design. So you'll have seen these in silver on the channel if you've been around a while. I did have a tube of those in the past. 
and uh, yeah I'm quite happy to pick up the different designs you'll often see on dealers websites that the 22 carat uh, Britannias are at a slightly lower premium than you know some of the more modern coins and on the second hand market you know generally people are going to prefer the security features and the newer ones uh, of the Britannia but then some people will like the fact that there's a different design as well so if you've got like an older one say 2016 where the design isn't really anything different it's just older yeah probably someone would choose the 2011 over that or they would rather have the newer one so just something to consider if you've got a choice you know if you happen to be in a coin shop and you can take your pick uh, i would personally pick you know some different designs if i had the choice and they were the same price and condition was good but um yeah otherwise i would probably just keep ordering you know the the latest ones assuming that the price and premium was similar so this is obviously not a britannia this is a krugerrand but just to demonstrate you know another 22 karat coin and they can be just you know a beautiful color uh, until the royal mint gets their hands on them and does something like that to the color so anyway that is my new pickup what do you think of the design do you like the 2011 have you got a particular favorite i think looking back i would really like a 2010 but yeah otherwise they're fairly similar not too excited by either of the designs but I'd say 2010 and 2011 are probably my favourites uh, and other ones. Yeah, it'd be nice to pick them up, but I'm not in so much of a rush as always. So that is all today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk soon.